Hey everybody, welcome back to Doc G's Reloading. Uh, today I just wanted to show the uh, short barrel uh, rifle that I put on uh, the 10 inch barrel I put on my 16S. Uh, got my tax stamp uh, a little while ago and put the 10 inch barrel on it. And here's the 16 inch barrel that it came with. So I'm hanging on to it, I'm not getting rid of it. Uh, but that just kind of gives you an idea of the, the difference in length there between the two. Um, you know, and this is a whole barrel assembly. So this is what you get when you buy a, uh, the barrel replacement. And these are not cheap. Um, the cool thing was uh, this was, I think originally $1,300 for the barrel assembly, but it was, it, it had some kind of uh, visual defect on it or something so I got it for $800 through Midway. Midway said it was quote blemished and when I got it the only thing that was wrong was there was a little bit of a sharp piece on this little front. There's a little front knob right here. You can see this knob right there. That knob. On the end of that knob there was a little sharp edge and that was the only thing I could find that was wrong with this 10 inch barrel. Otherwise the 10 inch barrel was absolutely perfect. So I got it for 800 instead of 1300. So it saved me $500 um, for the barrel assembly. Uh, but it comes off really easy. You just unscrew these two here and this one way in front. Uh, and that equates to you know, these holes here. And then you do the same thing on the other side um, two screws here, one screw there. And then the whole thing just, you, you have to disassemble it obviously, uh, take off the lower and take everything apart so that all you have is the upper there. But literally in a couple minutes, you just lift this one out, slide this one in, and then you have to torque them a certain way. So there is a way that you have to torque these. Um, I'm not gonna get into those details right now, but you know, it's basically one, two, three, four, five, six, once you snug them down and torque them to 65 inch pounds or 62 inch pounds, whatever it was. But anyway, all that stuff's available online, tells you how to do it um, so that you don't put too much tension on it. And, uh, you know, a significant savings in length for sure on the barrel. Like I said, I'm hanging on to this barrel, might as well. I mean, I, got, I was thinking about selling it, and then I thought, well, you know what? I got this one for such a bargain. I mean, for 800 bucks, uh, I'll take it. And uh, it's been perfect. So, uh, and it came in original packaging and everything, original box and everything. So the only thing that was this little piece that I did, I just filed it down, and big deal. It, it hasn't affected anything. So, uh, you know, took this out and shot it with the, uh, and then, well, we've got our, and I already, I've already gone over this, but here's our, uh, sure, uh, our Sig Sauer, so this is our Sig Sauer 7.62, the SLH model from Sig. This is their 3D printed uh, suppressor, and you can see all the neat little baffles and everything in there. And um, this is the 3D printed one. And what they've done is they've serialized, so your serial number is down here. And there's this line right here. So let's say it wears out or for whatever reason, you damage it or break it. They'll cut it off here. You send it back to them. They'll cut it off here and they'll re 3D print it for you. Um, so you save the serialized portion of it. So, and then it's got a little lock. I'll show you how it goes on in a minute, but it's got this little locking system here where you just twist and it snaps. And there's, there's three um, clutches in there. There's three of them spaced evenly apart on the inside and those bite into here, this surface here. So this angled surface seals it, the 3D, three clutches grab onto here, you get your little threading there and then this has a crush washer and you, so you can time the muzzle brake because I put a muzzle brake on. But I took this out without the suppressor on it and I thought it was gonna be super loud and it was not, it was just amazing. I thought it was gonna kick a lot harder, not at all. This gun with this action and that heavy bolt just racking back and forth, plus the guys will trigger in there. I mean, I was popping off rounds so fast, you know, like 0.1 splits uh, on rifle rounds. And 
on target every time. I mean, it really didn't even move from zero. So the recoil on this is absolutely incredibly mitigated. I mean, there's just, there's no recoil. It, it shoots like a 22, even with a 10 inch barrel. I, I couldn't believe it. Um, so uh, the 10 inch barrel, absolutely love it. It is super cool. Um, you know, folds down nice and small. So when you, you know, fold this down here and lock that in, you know, you could technically fire it from here if you wanted to. You could just, you know, fire from even that position because there's no buffer tube, you know, back in the stock. So you could still fire it from there. And then, uh, you know, what's nice is this is a quick detach suppressor. So, and I put an EOTech on here. So the EOTech also, the cool thing about the EOTech is it exactly co-witnesses with these sights. So I'm gonna primarily use the iron sights on this. Um, I did put this on, I do have a scope for it, one to 10 scope March if I wanna put that on there. So I can kind of snap, snap them off and on depending on what I'm doing. I could put this on with a 3X magnifier if I wanted to, but pretty much iron sights are what I'm gonna be using. And when my cheek is down here, I'm looking through the iron sights, it exactly co-witnesses with this. So it's really neat. Uh, came out really, really well, really happy with uh, this whole platform. It just shoots so smoothly um, and with, with, it just mitigates all the recoil. So with this, you just take this and you just screw it on and it goes on. It's got a couple of threads. I think it, it actually spins like one and a half times or two times. And then you just click it and you're on and that's it. And then you got your suppressor there uh, from SIG. Now the suppressor does heat up a lot quicker because you've only got a 10 inch barrel. So, you know, you're putting 10 rounds through this real quick, like I was doing, and sometimes 20 rounds real quick, it, it got pretty hot. I um, mean, you definitely had to have one of those oven mitts to unlock it here and take it off. But um, it, yeah, it certainly gets warm, no question. But uh, that's with the suppressor on it. And uh, it doesn't, you, you still have to wear hearing protection. So I know this is one of their flow through designs. So it's not a decibel killer as they call it. I thought about getting one of their shorter ones for this gun to have a short one, but I don't think that would even make any difference really. Um, you, you still, you have to wear hearing protection even with this suppressor on, it's just, it's too loud. Uh, now maybe a different suppressor, maybe if I stuck my Surefire on here, it might be quieter, but you know, you've only got 10 inches of barrel. So all that hot gas is going in there and trying to come out the end of the suppressor. So, uh, you know, it's still quite loud, but, uh, you know, you take it, you know, yep, two twists and off you go. And, uh, just could not believe how nice this gun shoots with the uh with that with the shorter barrel I, I thought it would kick a lot harder and it does not at all and literally barrel changes on this so if i did want a longer barrel i've got it i can pop it on there it's got the, i left this same it's the same quick detach here for the same suppressor so if i did want to go out longer ranges with it you know it takes all of you know about a minute or two tops to swap out barrels in this this is the way this whole platform was designed it was designed for uh, swapping out barrels depending on the mission. So, uh, but yeah, this gun is super light. Uh, absolutely love everything about it. No regrets on purchasing it. I've got my 17S as well. I probably am not gonna change the barrel on that. I'm gonna leave it at the 16 inch barrel on that one. No sense in shortening it uh, with the 7.62 by 51 cartridge. But uh, yeah, this in the 223 slash 5.56 absolutely incredibly uh, wonderfully shooting gun so i just wanted to share that with you all thanks again for watching doc g's reloading thanks for all your support for my channel i appreciate it